Hello everyone. Now in this video, we are going to discuss how you can write the custom keyword for the common functionality for your application. So assuming that the bugzilla is our application, whatever want whatever we want to do with the bugzilla, first we need to log in inside the bugzilla, and when we are done with our task, we need to log out from the bugzilla. So login and logout are the two common functionality which will be used across automation script. So let us develop the custom keyword for these two functionality. So again, under the keywords directory, I'm going to add a package called com.helper.login. And after that, I will add a class called login helper. Now, whenever you are developing the custom keyword, it is very important to extract what are the steps you are going to include in the custom keyword. So in my case, I want to create login method which will launch the browser for me. Then open the Bugzilla application inside it, navigate to the login page. After providing the username and password, click on login button. So this will be the step for my custom keyword login. So the steps for that. Open browser, then open Bugzilla, click on file bug link, which will take you to the login page. Provide username and password, and then click on login. Okay, so these are the steps which I'm going to include in my custom keyword. So how do you get all this information? So this can be get from global variable. Okay. So all this three information that is username, password and bugs link can be get from the global variable which is here. But here I want to give the flexibility to a user that he can use this custom keyword for login into any application. That means he can provide the username, password as well as the application URL from the script itself also. So here I'm going to develop two custom keywords. The first one will read the value from global variable and the second custom keyword will accept the argument from the script and the reason why I'm doing this is to provide the flexibility to the user either he can use the predefined method or he can supply the argument directly from the automation script so as we know this step, first we need to create a method and then use the annotation at the red keyword with it. So let's say public void login into application. Okay. And we need all these three information that is the application URL, username, password. So this method will take three argument and all the three argument is of type string. So string application URL, then string user name, comma, string password. Okay. So first of all, we need to open the browser. So web UI dot open browser and here I'm going to supply the application URL. After that web UI dot wait for page load 
and this will be from global variable dot timeout then we are going to maximize the browser so where bui dot maximize window so this three step will launch the browser open the bugzilla url in it and maximize the window then after that we need to click on file a bug link so just for the safe side i will add a wait condition so web ui dot wait for element visible and this will be our find test object and this will be your file a bug link okay and global variable dot timeout after that click on the file or bug link so web ui dot click find test object file bug link then after that when we click on file a bug link this will take you to the login page so i'm going to put a wait condition on login button so web ui dot wait wait for element visible point test object login button global variable dot timeout then provide the username password so web ui dot send keys point test object username text box and the value will be username similarly for the password so this will be password text box password and after that click on the login button so web ui dot click find test object login button okay and just provide a delay of one second okay so after that we need to use the annotation at the rate keyword with this so this is done and i'm going to create one more overloaded method where i'm going to read all this configuration from the global variable so here you can create one more method public void log into into application with so instead of creating the overload method i'm just creating a new one where user does not need to provide any argument everything will be taken from the global variable so inside which i'm going to call the same method and here i will supply the value so this will be global variable dot application url comma global variable dot username comma global variable dot password so if user want to use its own username and password he can use this uh, this method and if uh, the user want to read the value from the global variable then the user can use this method and i'm going to use the annotation at the rate keyword okay now similarly i will do for the logout so there is one method i'm going to create public void logout program application okay so once you log in inside the bugzilla and you do a logout so again you come back to the home page 
so here I will put a if condition or maybe I can directly use the logout so that is logout test object so web UI dot wait just as a part of defensive coding I am putting a wait that in case the logout button is not yet appear it can wait for that logout button before clicking it wait for element visible find test object and this will be your logout global variable dot timeout and after that click on the logout button find test object logout button and I will wait for the home page so web UI dot wait for wait for element visible find test object so when you log out from the bugzilla it will be it will redirect the user to the home page so I'm going to wait on this element so wait for file bug link global variable dot timeout so I'm going to put a debug point sorry not debug at the rate keyword annotation with this method so now your custom keyword are done for login and logout again just to explain what I'm doing inside this so I've created two custom keyword that is login into the application and second one is login into application with the first one where user need to provide the configuration the second one will read the configuration from the global variable and similarly the logout from the application which will just click on the logout button but before clicking on it it will check or wait for that button uh, that logout button to be visible and then once the logout button is click it will wait for file a bug link that will represent that user has been sub successfully logged out from the application so now let's use this inside our script so custom keyword test case bug zilla custom keyword okay so just click on add and select custom keyword and here I'm going to select log into the application with okay similarly if I want to select the other method that is log into the application so you can see here I need to provide this input so double, just double click on it and provide the required value okay now I will navigate to the script mode to show you how you can access the custom keyword so you just need to type custom keywords dot so it is going to list down whatever the custom keyword you have created so I'll do, I will just select logout from the application okay so let me put a debug point over here and run this script in a debug mode so it has hit the debug point so I'm going to do a step over so as you can see here it has launched the browser open the application URL then maximize the window click on file a bug link okay let me check Oh, I have used the wrong web element. So let me kill this session. So you can navigate among the code by pressing the control key. So just press the control key and click on the method. So this is file a bug link, then click on it. So this will be 